Now, we all have a signature dish in the kitchen, and today, just in time for bonfire night, because it's his tradition, not <laughs> <laughs> Phil is revealing a secret Schofield recipe. You've had this. We have a, we have a gang that... Yeah join up, you know, in various different combinations in Portugal, um, and, uh, and that's one uh, deck won't come up to the house unless I cook, unless you cook, cook the ribs. ribs. I mean, these are requested frequently. They are the best ribs well, ever. Well, the, uh, these are what they, uh, what they look, look like when I'm oh, look at you. making them... Uh... So good. This is the finished dish. <laughs> this is the finished dish. <laughs> oh, would you like another one? Here's another one. There we are. Oh. So, that's sat there. so that's more or less what... Oh, there's another one. There we are. Oh. Um, so that's more or less what, what we're doing now. And it's actually really, really simple. I have pretended to cook in my own kitchen occasionally on telly when I was younger. Really... I've never done it for real. Look, we're making dreams come okay. true today, Phil. So here we go. Um, so we're using... Uh, Pork spare ribs, mm -hmm. and in actual fact, for the amount of meat you get on here, they're incredibly cheap. So they're only four quid per rack. Oh, you cheapskate when we come up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've got to pay for the wine. <gasps> fair enough, fair And enough. as you said, you've never eaten these sober. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, so it's, uh, it's actually really, really simple. Um, what's lovely about cooking on the telly is that, uh, is that Julia puts all this uh, stuff in, uh, so in little in bowls there? for me. So we've got ground cumin. Mm. We've got, and it's uh, you know sort of a couple of tablespoons. Yeah. Ground coriander. Yeah. I um, you can alter this one as much as you like. Except In Portugal, chili. you can have piri, the piri piri yeah. chili. Um, you you can add cayenne pepper if you want to really really spice it up. But I've just got sort of a teaspoon of of chili in there. All right. Uh, then you've got ground ginger. So is this like a yeah, dry that. rub? This is the dry rub. Then right. you've got paprika. Yeah. And this is dark brown sugar. Okay. And so yeah. Mix all, all that, mix all that up, and then once you've mixed it up, and this is, um, I'm being asked in my ear. You never ask Gino whether he can use smoked paprika. Can you use smoked paprika? You can use whatever the hell you like. <laughs> if you want to put smoked paprika in it, you can. Although the flavours that I'm actually providing here are pretty smoked. Smoky, so I've come to yeah. a secret ingredient yeah, in yeah. a minute. So they are fairly smoked. So right, so there's still a little. Can we have lovely. no more heckling for the gallery, please? So all you do, basically, you sprinkle that yes. on there, like that, as much as you can, and then once you've done that... Mm, OK. You give it a rub. A little massage in. Massage it in. So this is what happens in the kitchen yeah. when before you all arrive. OK. So this is your prep. And was it good to do that early doors? Yeah, because they need a long time in the oven, because what you do with them now is you put them yeah. in the oven on about 100 for three hours. Oh, OK, so, so they cook really, really, really well, slow. Well, we haven't got time for that, Phil, so what? I do hope you've got one you made earlier. I have, but they're pretend in the oven now. Oh. And whilst they're in the oven, <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to make the, uh, <laughs> the sauce. Fire! With a sauce about 400... Oh, oh my God, Gino, you Gino, Gino, I'm against the, the clock, so you can sit there but be sit, quiet. Don't say anything. I'm in the kitchen and I'm stressed, OK? Really? Sit Just... down and be quiet. Sit over there, sit over there. Walking through my garden. You need to give your hands a wash. Uh, yeah, OK, I'll do Under that. Under there. Don't so, that. Um, what you've got to do now is to make the sauce. Here. And, uh, Here. and the sauce is about 420 ml of tomato ketchup. And then you want Did a, you say ketchup? Uh, yeah. OK. And then you want a big... Dollop of Dijon. ..tablespoon of, t of Dijon. You want about four or five... Cider vinegar. You need to be more precise. You can't just willy no, say no, no, four no. or five. Yes, you can. Oh, can I put that round your mouth? <laughs> Go and sit down. Then you add uh, about sort of fifty ml of orange juice. Can you sort the fire out, Gina? And it's this is the uh, <laughs> this is the secret ingredient. Yeah. Right. Um, well, of course, I'm just carrying on. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? The secret ingredient. There you go. That's beginning to, to come together now. Mm. Yeah. Is this? This, this is the key. Is liquid smoke? Don't blow it everywhere. And you've put a dash of liquid Can smoke. I yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. the inside of a chimney. It is. You just put a dash in there, not too much. I don't know what to do. And that's do. why you don't need the smoked paprika. That's exactly why you don't need can it. You, order you can that order. Online? Yeah. Get it online. <laughs> Everyone is doing this item. Where can I get that? Can you get it online? <laughs> it's fine, don't worry, everything is under control. Well done, Gina. That's much so better. So what, uh, what you do now... Oh, hold on a second, it's now three hours later. Oh, ding! And out come the oh, ribs that have been in for three hours. This is the one we made earlier. 
That's yeah. the way we do it on yeah, TV. Yeah, but I'm, I do it in a slightly different way, Gino, okay. because yeah, everyone says that. Yeah, spin on it. And you so now you want those. to be a cook as well, a presenter, a cook. <laughs> do you put all of it on or just no, a little bit? No, what you do then is you put a little bit in a jug and you can have that as a pouring sauce later on and you can dip oh it in. Oh, my God! You I didn't even that. know there was a little jug with that on. I've yeah. never noticed that. Now, whilst I'm putting these on the barbecue, go and make your drink. Right, guys. So this is my new tradition. Um, I'm going to make a whiskey sour. Uh, so this is my cocktail shaker at home. So what I do is I get that and I get a whiskey. I mean, this is scotch, but you can use anything. And I fill this up twice. I don't know if that's the correct thing, but I do two of those. And then I pop in. Do you like whiskey sours, Gino? Uh, is it alcohol? Yes. Yes. Uh, Any particular juice scotch? from a whole lemon. Um, I don't. I don't think it matters once you put everything in. I mean, it might do. Juice of a whole lemon, juice of a whole orange, and then I put in some honey. The old-fashioned way used to be to put in um, sugar, but I think honey. And this is my honey from home, and it's got cinnamon in it. So you could just use normal honey and then put a little dollop of cinnamon in it. I think it tastes quite festive this time of oh. year. And then take that off. Hold on. <coughs> Get off, honey. And then I put some ice in it, ice in it, ice in it. How are you getting on over no, there? <laughs> Dropping my scotch. Are you all right? Hold on. Nearly See? there. When so you need the glasses, the rain here. has made my plate a bit wet. That's OK. <laughs> OK, where's my lid? There. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. This is the important bit, but I've got to make sure I don't. Shake, 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 shake. That's the best noise in the world, apart from a cork pop. Can I ask what possessed you to, to start to cook in now on television, both of what you? What possessed you to well, start writing books? Well, I th that's a good question, well, there's, see? There's a huge gap in the market, cos the bloke I used to watch is off in Sardinia breeding horses. Oh, I, so you can get anyone else now? Well, I mean, you know, now, uh, well, you, I, now I, you've I can, gone. Yeah, yeah. So, these... Right. This looks amazing. Once you've done that... Take one okay. of those. Chop them up. They're only really little because I've had to make it go three ways. No problem. Cheers. Good to hear. Salute. Salute. Salute to all our viewers. And I tell you home. what, we've also done this to time as well, which is oh extraordinary. Gosh, so good. There. Right, Gino. Isn't that oh, good. Wow. wow, that's good. Can I try a little one? Yeah, go for it. Are these going to be seriously hot? They are pretty warm. Go on, Gino, get your chops no, no, around that. Okay, I'll get this. Mm. Oh. Tell me what you think, honestly. Mm. They are so good. They are so good, aren't they? All right. They are the best. Number one, moisture to perfection. Number two, one thing that I love about this is the dry marinade first. Yeah. Because often when you start with a wet marinade, it falls off. Yeah. This one is a very sticky... It clings to it. Clings to it. You know what? Really nice. I have to say, it's a really, really good rib. I'm not going to find It's great. Phil, will Thank you try you. your... Um, oh, yes. Have a little glug on mm. that. Let's see what you think. Right, that's good. Oh, that's good too. It's good, isn't it? Cheers, cheers, I'll cheers, cheers. Have we still got more of the show to do? Oh, I've got oh, fashion, so don't worry, we don't have to think. Oh, that's a good point. Right, uh, for all of the recipe details, <laughs> take a look at all this morning. At